kind of said, not today and not this time in the ball game. Goes in motion to the right. Barnett takes the snap, rolls slightly to his right, throws back the other way, wide open. It's Devon Smith, and the pack can put two more points on the scoreboard. The blitz hit by Clayton White from behind. Fumbles the football forward. Wolf Pack football. Clint Johnson comes up with a fumble. He was hit by Clayton White. He'll throw off balance over the middle. It's caught by Holt at the 50-yard line. One man to beat at the 40. The 30. Down the right side. 20. He's going to outrun the defense. 10-5. Touchdown. There was a new air of optimism surrounding head coach Mike O'Kane and his 1998 NC State football program. A new five-year contract. The return of 20 seniors, 11 of whom were starters, had Wolfpack fans ready to jam Carter-Finley Stadium for another year of NC State football. Victories over national powers Florida State and Syracuse put the pack in the national spotlight, while wide receiver Torrey Holt continued to pile up ACC records and gain Heisman candidate accolades. But this was not a group of young men concerned with individual accomplishments. It was 105 teammates determined to return to a bowl. And like the rubber bands they wore around their wrist, this team displayed a bend but never break attitude that propelled the Wolfpack to their fifth bowl appearance of the 90s. The 1998 North Carolina State football team has made its mark in the Wolfpack record books. It was a season of big plays, big days. NC State fans breathed a sigh of relief when Wolfpack wide receiver Torrey Holt announced that he would be staying in Raleigh for his senior season, postponing his lifelong dream of playing in the NFL. Holt returned to Raleigh to defend his crown as the ACC's top receiver and arguably the best offensive player in the country. The decision to stay has paid off for the All-American from Gibsonville, North Carolina, who will more than likely be a top 10 pick in this year's NFL draft. Holt picked up right where he left off in 97, putting himself in the thick of the Heisman race by leading the ACC in receptions and receiving yards per game. Holt was a four-time conference and two-time national player of the week by averaging an amazing 173 all-purpose yards per game. His 1,604 yards receiving broke his own school record by 505 yards that he set in 1997. The Bolitnikoff Award finalist added to his already impressive football resume by torching the Baylor Bears for a school record 255 yards on 11 receptions, which is another NC State record. The list kept growing for Holt, who set the ACC single season receiving mark against Wake Forest when he pulled in 179 yards while surpassing the 1,400 yard plateau. If that wasn't enough, the very next week while facing the Maryland Terrapins, Holt set the ACC single season reception mark when he caught eight passes, giving him 79, surpassing the old mark of 74. Maybe the most amazing aspect of Holt's achievements is the fact that he wasn't rated a blue chip prospect coming out of high school. Holt's tremendous work ethic, along with outstanding coaching, has propelled him to his current status. Torrey Holt will go down as North Carolina State's best ever, the best the Atlantic Coast Conference has ever seen. Well, it, it means a lot to me um, to be able to break all those records. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to. Uh, Attribute all that to my mother and, and things, uh, accomplish all the things that I wanted to accomplish, and it's definitely going into her name. Uh, so uh, it means a lot to me, and I'm just going to cherish it for the rest of my life. You all know what you have to do. No one, and I mean no one, comes into our house and pushes us around. It's your home. Let's do it. When number two ranked Florida State rolled into Carter Finley Stadium, the Wolf Pack had a complex game plan to beat the Seminoles, a plan that would turn the rankings upside down. The Wolf Pack pinned their ears back and came full bore after Florida State quarterback Chris Winkie, forcing the sophomore into a miserable afternoon. The Pack picked off an amazing six passes as the Rough Rider secondary was born. 
After spotting the Seminoles an early touchdown, NC State would completely shut down one of the nation's most explosive offenses. As the game moved on, it became very apparent that something special was brewing at Carter-Finley Stadium. While the Wolfpack defense was being opportunistic at every turn, the NC State offense was shredding the vaunted Florida State defense. Quarterback Jamie Barnett continuously avoided the relentless Florida State rush while finding time to connect with his receivers. In the biggest game of his career, Barnett was up to the task, firing a pair of touchdowns on a magical afternoon. But once again, it was the play of number 81 that turned the tide for the pack. Torrey Holt gave NC State the lead for good with an electrifying 68-yard punt return for a score. Holt then capped off a 223-yard performance with a 63-yard fourth-quarter touchdown reception from Barnett. It all adds up to a convincing, earth-shattering 24-7 Wolfpack win. Bring down the goalpost. A special season is underway. A national television audience tunes in for a Thursday night battle between the Pack and Syracuse. Both defenses will be stretched to the limit in this offensive heavyweight showdown. North Carolina State falls behind early, but the Pack will quickly make up the difference and then some. Rashawn Spikes totals better than 130 yards of offense. His seven-yard run ties the game at seven. Quarterback Jamie Barnett has a big game with his arm and his leg.